Hello and welcome. This video will teach you how to log in and import your pictures to the eMammal desktop application. Recall from the website video that you can download the eMammal desktop application from the eMammal website. You will need an approved eMammal account before you can download the application. Once the application has been installed, you can sign in using the same username and password that you used for the eMammal website. Pay attention to any updates the app offers you and update immediately before trying to use the app again. Failure to update when a new version is available could cause errors in your upload or even to the eMammal system itself. The desktop application works in two modes, online and offline. To use offline mode, you must sign in when the internet is available and check the stay signed in option. Then, when you go offline, you can proceed as normal by loading new photos. The only difference is that you cannot upload your pictures until the internet is available again. For this video, I will be demonstrating the online mode. Once you are signed in, you will get three options. Continue previous session allows you to continue work on a deployment you have already loaded into the app and are in the middle of identifying. Load metadata offline allows you to access your most up-to-date deployment list to prepare for working offline. Load new photos allows you to load new photos to a new deployment and begin identifying the pictures. Since this is the first time we're using this app, we will click load new photos and you will see a list of projects, subprojects, and deployments. You need to select a project, a subproject, and a deployment in each of the three menus. If you are only working in one project, that will automatically be selected. Remember from the flowchart, you will either be able to choose a pre-approved deployment from the site map or choose your own deployment location. If you choose your own deployment location, we will ask you to submit an online site description form for each location you set your camera. We will then assign each of those locations a unique deployment ID and those will appear in the deployment list with any other assigned deployments from the map selected sites. It is critical that you load the correct photos to the correct deployment ID so we know the exact latitude and longitude where those photos were taken. Reloading photos to a deployment will delete any previous photos. After you pick the correct deployment, you can browse on your computer to find the folder containing the photos taken at that location. If you have multiple folders for one deployment, select the parent folder to import all images. The app searches the folder, tells you how many photos it contains, and then you can load them into the app. If you have a slow computer, you can use the low resource mode option to make sure the memory is allocated correctly. However, this will make the process of photo import slower. During the loading process, the application will copy the photos and organize them. Once the application has finished sequencing the photos, it pulls up this electronic data sheet. You must fill in everything above the comments section. So we are going to fill in the correct latitude, the correct longitude, the camera ID, and the detection distance. Remember, the detection distance is the distance that you recorded from your walk test. Once these are filled in, you will see that this red information is no longer there and we can now save the deployment information.